Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build yourself a giant tree. That way you have a large landmark in your world that you can potentially build a tree house on. Without further ado, let's investigate how we'd go about this. And for our palette, I'm going to be going with a more oak based palette. If you're trying to do this for any other wood in the game, updated for 120, then you should do this. If you're in 121, I'd recommend using tough stairs instead of stone stairs for acacia, but otherwise, this should encompass every single wood type. And then, get yourself a large flat area. Although, of course, the tree stump is only so large, I mean, you can make this tutorial as small as you want, make it something like a 3x3 base, that can be a little boring. You might want to go for something larger, especially since that has higher success rates with tree houses. Build it too small, your tree house might not fit. So get yourself an area, you know, it doesn't have to be super large like this, simple area, and then you want to make a circle. How big you want the circle is up to you. I have a circle generator in the description. And one thing of note, before you start building everything, keep your wood consistent. Not as in the logs, if you can figure out a way to do that, honestly I'd just be more surprised than anything, but don't build like this and then, oh I want a branch. Don't do that, you can see where the logs line up, like, not how you build, like, you can see how exactly you did it. Instead, you want it to be all uniform, something like this. Keeps it a lot prettier, while preventing the issues of how you knew someone exactly built it, more natural. With all this in mind, create your stump, and then you'll be ready to continue building. With your wood circle down, what you want to do is extend it up in its barren state. This is much easier to do in creative, versus the rest of my tutorials, which I kind of recommend winging in survival. Building a tree requires a lot more precision. Thus, I highly recommend doing it in creative before trying it in survival. Now, extend it up. Of course, I'm going to be using world edit for speed. And then, once you get to a desired height, that looks pretty decent, probably going to end up taller, so I'm gonna add a little extra for measure. And now, what do you know? Very basic. And if the tutorial was pretty much do this, I mean, I'd be fired by myself. But anyways, there's a lot more to do than th just this. You don't add a door and add some leaves up there, that's kind of simple. What you want to do is give it a little bit of thickening at the bottom. You can see, like this, make sure all of your logs are facing the same way, don't want any of those right there. And then, as you keep doing this, you'll get a more and more detailed base. And the more you do this, of course, the better it looks. After that, eventually we'll be able to add our stairs and slabs, but we want to do that towards the end of the tree. By then, you should already be almost ready to get your leaves on. And you can see how this is going. Even replace some of the ground nearby. I mean, trees do that. They kind of push up the dirt, you know. You can even add some coarse dirt nearby. I might do that. And then, as you progressively head further up, then take chunks out of the tree. Rebuild it like this. And what do you know? It's even more depth into it. The more depth you add like this, the better your tree will turn out. Of course, doing too much could potentially mess it up, especially if you make it too thin at any given point but you get the idea. Right here, you can see a lot of progress has been done. You do the base where we thicken it up, thin it up over here, and then in extra detail, add a few branches, whether you want them to go perfectly out like this or make them come out at an angle is up to you, but I'm thinking I might want to add a treehouse to this later, so it would be much easier in order to have them straight. Then, have some roots at the bottom. Make sure they bump up. Everyone's almost fallen on an oak tree root, I have a feeling, so, you know, better add that experience to Minecraft too. Along with potentially destroying all the nearby grass. You can use coarse dirt to prevent it from coming back in. Plant a couple short grasses around while putting down rooted dirt for some texturing, and now you have an interesting tree root system. Now, when you go up, you might also want to add some honey and honeycomb and whatnot. That one's completely optional, and I only really recommend that for a cherry and oak tree. If you're doing a fir tree or something, well, wouldn't exactly work out, because bees aren't really there. 
Now, from here, you need to add a few branches. I'm going to be using red wool for this, for visibility and technical reasons, because, you know, world edit. But you want to make it come out at an angle. This is very rudimentary, of course, you gotta smooth it out, thicken it up, whatnot. And you want to do this a couple of times. Whether it comes out at ordinal or cardinal angles is up to you. I recommend doing a combination of both, and just choose a random angle and go along with it. Might want some to be a bit higher than others, like this, in order to make a more fleshed out canopy in the future, but you get the idea with this most likely. You want to go out, and then build more red wool. Of course, turn it to logs if you're doing this. Smooth it out, and then eventually you'll be able to add some leaves. Depending on what you're doing with this, you might also want to incorporate spruce planks into this. As in, use stairs. But that's typically not necessary for giant builds like this, and or might be a little too time consuming. It's up to you for that detail, because although it works well down here, it might not exactly work so well up here. Depends on how full your canopy is. Right here, you can see I have added branches to the top. How did I go about this? Well, it was pretty simple. I'd choose one of the four sides, preferably on the corners, and then I kind of built up in haphazard staircase style. From there, I added blocks all around to thicken it up. Of course, they still need some minor touches, I mean, pretty much you can sit here all day making small changes to your branches, getting rid of these very simple staircases and making more complex shapes, but this will suffice for the time being. And if you're using fill commands, well, you can actually convert it straight into logs while using wool like this. You can use slash fill and then replace with oak wood or whatever wood you're using on a normal block. That way, you can do these much faster without having to worry about block placements. Unfortunately, survival mode players don't have this luxury. Anyways, doing the quick replace, you can see, although it still needs a little bit of minor fixes here and there, well, congratulations, you have a dead tree. Yeah. Well, once you have those branches in, you want to add more coming off of them like this. We go in, and then you just start spamming your place button, and then you thicken it up. All this helps fill out the canopy, because you aren't going to do this with four branches, that would look silly. And once you have that going in, then you'll have approximately 8 to 11 branches or so. With that in mind, you'll be able to start adding some of the leaves. Right here, you can see a bunch of branches with more branches on them. Have a dead tree. Congratulations. This little groove here is filled with water because why not? You could make a waterfall down to the side of it, but I'm not a big fan of the idea so I'm not going to do it. From here, you want to start adding some foliage. This can be quite overwhelming, especially because how many resources it costs. But here's some general rules of thumb. One, you might need a branch going straight up for support. This really determines how big your canopy will be. Two, don't do the very beginnings of branches. Right about here should be left bare. And three, these lower branches should only have oak leaves towards the edges of them. You can use multiple types of leaves for extra detailing and texture and whatnot. But, to keep it simple, especially if it's your first time, only do the edges with one type of leaf. While you're adding your leaves to this, there's one critical error you need to be sure to avoid. Don't make your edges flat like this, and make sure they go out more than one block. You can see here, they completely hug the branch and what do you know? It looks like a green tipped branch. That's kind of boring. You want to make sure that they go out a little. Make some parts thicker like this. And the more thickness you add, of course as long as you don't overdo it, the better. Make it round like a real tree. In fact, use the normal Minecraft trees for reference. Of course they all generate the same since they're based off of code, but you get the idea most likely with this. You want to have these rounded things going across the branches. And when they're round like that, they look realistic. And of course, that's likely what you're going for. And even if you're going for a surrealist tree, maybe something in the crimson forest or something, so this idea holds true. You need to make it puffier, rounder, not so hugging the edge. 
to know. Trees don't go one leaf off of every branch. They have little twigs in between. While you're adding your leaves to the upper branches, you might have some issues in literally placing the foliage, especially if you're in survival. Because for these ones, you only need a small network of bridges under it in order to place everything. But for these ones, it can be significantly more complicated. And if you are having trouble with building this part, well, I'm going to be honest, I am too. It's pretty tough to build foliage on trees. And if you're really having trouble like you can't do this, well, there's a very simple method to doing this that, although it takes a bit of time, it's much easier than trying to handcraft everything. Put all the branches in three layers of leaves. If you do this, then it will look like they're all growing leaves off of it and it looks a little bit better. Although it might not look nearly as good in the end, it's much easier and feasible to do for the average player. If you're doing this, then you might need to connect up these parts here with leaves as well in order to build a little bit more of a canopy. Since if you only leave a few branches like this, I mean this one is almost finished with this different method, you're going to notice your tree looks kind of bare. In which, well, you're not going to have a very nice looking canopy even if the rest of the tree looks really good. So, use that method if you're having trouble. Along with that, if there's any holes in your tree, fill it up with the stripped version of the log instead. That way, it looks a bit more realistic. Adding on to the method that I just described, there's a quick way you can do this even simpler. If you want to go by and do the triple layer, then you can simply add layers onto the first layer using a different colored block. Perhaps start with yellow, and then coat it in orange, smooth out the orange, and then turn that into leaves, and then do it again with a different color. You can repeat this as many times as you want. And then, you can replace it all at the end with fill commands, or if you're in survival, you can manually replace it. And it's much easier to do than trying to learn exactly how to build every single leaf, because that would take an incredibly long amount of time to do. While you're smoothing out some of the harsh edges on your branches and probably need to add some more layers, such as ones going a bit more vertical, you know, flush it out a bit more, you're going to notice a problem. U-tip leaves. Where your leaves are too round and don't exactly spread out normally. And although you could manually detail them, there's another method you can use in order to help fix that without having to go in and manually place down each leaf and break things, etc. What you can do is go in, place down a dirt block, and then grow a tree. And this can be pretty easy. And then you want to make sure that there's still a log in there, cover it up, take off the corners, smooth it off a little, so that way it's less noticeable. And what do you know? You have a new blob. And then you need to replicate the top on the bottom. And now you have a bit more detail into it. Do this several times per branch, do it throughout the canopy. If you get a big tree, you might have to undo it because they're a little too large. But with all this, you'll be able to add more detail. With the combination with the three layer method and this, now you can produce leaves with relative ease. In here, you can see that there are a little bit more rounded branches. By adding the trees, you can add quite a bit to the build. From here, all you need to do is add a little bit more canopy. I added some fake branches for now, and once I do the triple layer technique and then add some trees to them, you'll have a completely proper tree. And yes, this build can be difficult, especially at this scale. This is probably a very hard build, but if you downscale it or get good at it, then it can go right down to a medium build. With this in mind, it's up to you whether you want to start off with something as giant as this or you want to go a little bit smaller, but keep something in mind. If you want to build a treehouse, you're most likely going to need something as big as this. Either way, go in, do the triple layer technique with all the wools for replace commands, and then add the trees, and then you'll be finished with your tree. Here we are with our gradually being outlined tree. And there is something weird going on. Notice how I replaced all my leaves 
with blackstone slabs. Well, it turns out there is a very, very quick way to outline pretty much anything. And unfortunately, I did not know about it until now. So real quick, just fixing this minor error. Whoops. What you can do is exploit how fire works in Minecraft. And in doing so, you can coat everything very quickly. You can see this is set to fire, and this is set to only replace air. Notice how these are slabs. Fire can't be on top of them, and they're not flammable either. Which means, when I do this, everything's on fire. And, oh no, everything's on fire. This is pretty bad. Well, I have fire spreads disabled. So, if I redo this, setting it a little bit higher up so that way I don't accidentally coat the tree itself, and what I do is I light the thing on fire, and then I do another replace command. This can be done without world edit. And I'm going in, oak, or actually I should just use a manually placed block, don't want accidental despawns. And now it's set to oak leaves. And now when I do it to replace, replace to fire, well actually I want to do yellow wool, sorry for the delay. Then click, and what do you know? It's already outlined, and that can be turned into oak leaves directly. By converting everything back into oak leaves like this, you can now build your tree in record time. Now, with the extra layer of branches, with more trees hidden inside of them, you now have a completed tree. Personally, there is one thing you could change about this, and that's instead of having two clearly defined layers, which may cause little things like this. Might be good for a tree house, but not necessarily good for actual treeing. You might want to make one big layer, where it's all smooth with equal distribution. But this kind of tree is suitable for both, in that it can be used for a tree house while still looking good if you don't want that. Not to mention, look at it. It's a giant tree, and you can potentially hide things inside of it. Whether you want to have a base, you know, put a little the door inside here, live inside of the tree is a starter house. I mean, very expensive starter house, but still, you can do that. There's a lot of things you can do with a tree, and you can potentially make a forest if you're patient enough to build this several times over. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.